I'll show you how to make this watermelon painting. I'll use a pencil to draw my watermelon. My painting will have a complete watermelon in the back and a slice of watermelon in the front. The outline of your painting doesn't need to be perfect because you're going to paint over it. This painting is very easy to do. I'll start by using some red. I have seen watermelons that are yellow in the inside. If you want, you can paint yellow watermelons. You can use any type of paint you want. Watercolor would be a good option, but I used acrylic paints. You can make this painting on paper or canvas. Don't use too much water if you're painting on normal paper. If you do use too much water, then your paper will start to tear apart. As you get into the center part of the watermelon slice, add some water to make the red shade appear lighter. I'm going to use some white color paint to paint the edge of the watermelon slice. You can blend the red and the white paint by using a dry paintbrush. If your paint is too dry, then you can use a wet paintbrush to wet it and then use a dry paintbrush to blend it. I'm going to draw some white lines on the red part of the watermelon to make it look a bit real. I'll blend it by using a dry paintbrush. If you have a lot of lines, then it's going to make your watermelon painting look realistic. use some black to make the watermelon seeds. It helps if you use a really thin paintbrush for the watermelon seeds. The seeds of the watermelon slice don't need to be perfect. to use some dark green to paint the skin of the watermelon. The dark green skin doesn't need to be blended with the white. time to paint the complete watermelon. You will just need dark green and white for this. I will draw curved dark green lines like this. Paint the middle of the dark green curved lines with light green.
You can use water and dark green or white and dark green to make the light green. You can make the size of the watermelon in the back big or small. I'm going to use some yellow for the background. Make the yellow near the watermelon darker and as you go farther from the watermelon make it lighter. We can create shadow for our watermelon using some yellow and a bit of orange. If the light in our painting is in the top left and our object is in the middle, then our shadow should be on the bottom right. Please like, subscribe and share this video and have some fun painting. Bye!